Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Blow Away number one. This is a new book from Boom Studios. Let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Zach Thompson with art by Nicola Izzo, uh, Francisco Segala on colors with color assist by Gloria Martinelli and letters by DC Hopkins of N World Design and a great cover by Annie Wu. Uh, we also have some Varying covers at the end by Tula Lote, Tyler Boss. Uh, so, yeah, we got you covered here for this book. So, in this book, unyielding wildlife photographer Bryn Brot Brot Brotigan, isolated in the remote called of Baffin Island, sees something she can't unsee. An argument followed by an outburst of intense violence between two nearby climbers. The she just witnessed murder in a frantic search for the truth. Bryn discovers that just what she's looking for but little does she know that more than the silent white of winter is keeping her company from hit sack writer or from hit writers sack thompson uh, who's worked on things like hunt for the skinwalker and cemetery kids don't die and star artist nicola Izzo, uh from buffy the vampire slayer they team up in this neonar crime thriller rife with murder and paranoia in a tradition of fargo and rear window. And those were the two things that I immediately thought of as I was reading this book. Uh, because for rear window, you definitely have the voyeuristic approach to this, right? Uh, Bryn is a photographer. So she has cameras pointed at this mountain where everything's going on. Uh, she's isolated. She's alone. She's all that she's processing. If you've seen rear window, all that she's processing is the information that comes through from her camera, right? And also Fargo with the the crime aspect of it, uh, the thrilling part of it, uh, the fact that there's always a little bit more, that Fargo is a story that loves to unravel a mystery, like whether you've seen the TV show or you've seen uh, the original film. Uh, and of course, the cold weather, um, it's, uh, you know, they're in Canada, so like, probably close to a Minnesota accent. Uh, so yeah, this is, this is very interesting. Now, all that being said, uh, I think the pacing of the story for me uh, feels like something that I actually want to, the mystery is so intense and the pacing is so, so uh, definitive that I actually feel like this would read better to me as a whole, like just reading everything at once, because just like Bryn, like, I can't really, I don't want to wait to figure out what the next reveal or what's going on or to to go back and look at my camera, right? Like to see what's going on now. Um, but that that being said, the art is fantastic. Uh, I think uh, Nicola manages to really present a very interesting approach to what could be kind of a boring setting, right? With just snow and the cold weather and the white, uh, but I think not only the character designs, but just the approach uh, to the storytelling really makes that very interesting. So let's uh, take a look at some of the preview art here. So you'll see what I'm saying, right? The paneling really helps with the pacing as the storm kind of clears up and you can kind of see the, pan the passage of time. Uh, you get to see the not only the view from the camera, but also a view at the camera and, and just all that process. I think that's really cool. Uh, we also have like this kind of like timeline that keeps reminding us how long uh, a brain has been isolated from the world. Uh, so that's really cool. Like we'll, you know, we get to see like as the days kind of go by. So, and then just checking out this here. I love the the view from the film as she's kind of studying the video. Uh, yeah, just really, really works. Uh, and as the mystery presents itself, uh, that really just helps to build attention. So. Um, am I going to keep reading this? Yes, because Boom has been delivering on all fronts with a lot of their stuff. Uh, I'm probably I'm going to try to pick up the Tula Lote cover because one of my favorite cover artists. Uh, but I think I will definitely revisit this once either the I don't know if this is a mini series or an ongoing series, but either way, I'll revisit this more of a collection. Uh, but for fans of mystery and some of those things that I mentioned, like Fargo Rear Window. Uh, or even just like really cool winter art, uh, or maybe you're a camera aficionado. I don't know. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that will really find this book fascinating. Uh, so definitely want to go back to that. So 
If you have read this book, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.